Hi everyone and welcome back to Valheim. This is episode 20 and today I want to explore the two frost caves that I found in the earlier episode and I want to gather some more silver. So let's jump right into it. And here we are. So as usual I'm gonna make some food just like so. And now I want to craft some obsidian arrows. So I'm gonna need some obsidian, some wood and some feathers. So they do 52 pierce instead of 11 pierce and 22 fire. So since our bow already do poison, I will do those, those arrows. They'll do way more damage. There we go. And now let's go into the mountains again. Right outside our house, there's a drake nearby. So let's see how our new bow does against it. I couldn't see the numbers, but it did one hit. So there's that. Oh, I got a head. So now I can make a Drake helmet. Oh, that's pretty cool. Actually, I want to see right now what do I need for that. So it turns out for the Drake helmet, I need way more silver, some wolf bell. That's okay. But I need another trophy. So that won't be for now. We've got another Drake trophy. I've been exploring the mountain for a while now, running all around the place. And my wishbone isn't going off. I'm not finding any more silver. So I'm going to explore the two frost caves there is now. So let's go to the first one. We're in the frost caves. There is some crystals over there. There's so many bats. They keep coming. I kill one, there's two more that appears. <laughs> it's crazy, there's so many. There is a stone over here. Ancient cave marking. Huh. I don't know what to do with it. Yeah, I don't know what to do with it. Oh well. Some more crystals. The path over here seems like it's blocked and there's something behind it. So let's find a way around. We found a way around. And it doesn't look like there's much. Oh, there's another cave marking. So it seems like some people were praying to a wolf god or something. So probably there is werewolf in that cave. So there is a few paths that I can take. I'll go left first. Like I do as usual. I can go down here and see what's down there. I did not find anything down there besides some few crystals. So that was something but not really that useful. Let's check the other path. This is the next path that's in front of me. Let's see what's in there. Oh, the music gets excited. I'm gonna use my bone mass power and... I'm gonna go ahead and kill everything that's on the way. I'll loot after. So there is some hair everywhere, but I want to make sure I kill every mob that I can while I still have the bonus. There's a chest over here. Just some gold and some amber. And there is nothing here. Wow, that was proper useless. Okay, so let's collect some hair. Since we're here. And let's check the other path. So there was a bunch of wolves, but that's it. So let's see if there is another way. I don't see another path, so that's it for me for this cave. Let's check the other one. Cross cave number two, here we go. There's two cultists over there. So I need to be really careful because those do a lot of damage. And they're dead. And I almost am as well, so I'm gonna pop a potion. The bats are so annoying. They don't do a lot of damage. But when there's a lot of them, they basically neglect my healing potion. That cultist didn't stand a chance. If there was so much, so many cultists, maybe there's the stone? No. Just a lot of cultists. Oh, there's another ancient cave marking. This one is another story. So, some mans were hunting big wolves. Okay. Another ancient cave marking? Come on, bat. I'm trying to talk. So... I'm not really sure what this one means. 
So unfortunately this one was a dud as well. There were a few cultists, but that's it. I've got one iron. Oh, probably from breaking the brazier. So I'll have to find another mountain biome because I'm not finding anything else in here. So I will go and explore and I'll be right back. I found another mountain. It is right here on the map. And the good thing with this one is that I can actually run back to the house. I don't really need to go by water. So if I do find some silver, I can make some trips back home using a cart uh, easier. So let's explore it a little bit and see what we can find. Right off the bat, we already found another frost cave. So I'm going to mark this one down. Frost cave. And before going in it, I want to see if I can find some silver. We found a small house that I will use as my quarters. Because my... Uh, my wishbone is going off so there's probably some silver around here so let's make a crafting bench and let's make a portal i'll make the portal right over here i'll also renovate the house so it's not open anymore uh the portal should work over here mountains should be connected there we go. So I'm going to cut some wood and I'm going to renovate the house to have a safer spot. So I renovated the cabin a little bit just to have a safe spot for my portal so it doesn't get destroyed instantly. And oh, there is a chest I never see. Oh, onion seeds. Oh, that is awesome. We know what we're going to do for now. Gardening time. All the turnips have been collected and I planted the onions. So while that's growing... I'll mine the silver that was on the mountain. With how fast it's beeping, this is exactly where we're mining. So let's see. Let's hope it's not too far on the ground. So we can actually dig under it. it makes uh, breaking it easier. Here is the silver vein. Let's uncover it. So it all has been dug up. Now here's a little tip. If you dig everything under it to the point where the whole thing is floating there's not a single part that's touching the ore it's it's all levitating as soon as you break one part of it the whole thing will crumble you don't need to mine it all by hand so by doing that ah, oh, it's always so satisfying so by doing that not only you make sure that you don't miss any pieces because it's all discovered but you can also break it all at once so it's also efficient on your pickaxe I've gathered all of the silver and the drake that I just killed drop a, a trophy so I'll get that. So all of this is taken and my wishbone is still resonating. So I've got three stacks plus one piece. And my my wishbone is still beeping so there's probably another silver, silver van nearby. So I'm gonna gather that one as well. And there was a silver, another silver van right beside the first one. So let's dig that up. This is what I meant in the earlier episodes when I said that snowstorms makes it that you can't see around you. Now let's break it down. I'll never get tired of this. So this is the result of our ore gathering around here. So that's five and six stacks. That That is pretty good. I'll try to find another silver... I'm dying because of the smoke. I'll try to find another silver vein and fill up my chest so this way I can fill up a cart and I'll bring that home. There's a rune stone over there. It says, in these mountains I cannot throw a spear without hitting something that wants to kill me. But from the heights I have seen sunny plains where life will be easier. I now, I go now to make my home there. These are the words of Ulf. Okay, so he says that there are plains nearby? Maybe this way? Hmm. So I ran all the way across the mountains. I explored all of it. I even went to the black forest to see if I could find some plains like the runestone said. But I think it was just for the story. Or maybe it's over here. Anyway, I'll see better when it's less snowstorm. So since there is no silver uh, around me, I'll just bring what I have and bring it back home using the cart. I'll push the cart down the mountain and I'll walk 
I'll walk the way back home. It shouldn't be that tedious because it's all it's all flat past the mountains. So I'll be right back. I do not see the plains that Ulf was talking on the runestone, but I do see a big mountain over there. So that is probably where the next boss is, because that is a big mountain. It's right beside the swamp with bone mass. So probably I can reach it from uh, the bone mass portal. So when I'm done with the silver over here, I'll bring back my portal and I'll I'll go through this one to place another portal in those mountains. While the silver is smelting, I want to upgrade the cooking station. So I need ancient bark, core wood, fine wood and silver. So let's get that and place the butcher's table. And now we can place the butcher's table. I'll place it right over there. So we unlocked a few recipes. Such as... Uh, wolf jerky, which gives half and half. It's the same as boar jerky, but upgraded. I can make ice cream. So this one gives a lot more stamina. I'll grab some gray dwarf eyes and some freeze glands and I'll, I'll get that one. Okay, I've got the ingredients, so let's craft it. So this will be our new stamina food. I crafted eight of it. I also saw that I could make the tool shelf which is a workbench improvement so let's place it right over there and i'm not sure we unlocked any new recipes but we could probably upgrade something now such as the wolf cape but i will keep the wolf belt for uh to craft something better or to upgrade my armor instead since i need to cut a lot of trees to fuel the kiln to have coal to smelt more silver I want to craft the crystal battle axe right now. So if it's better than my... Uh, if it can cut wood better than my bronze axe, it would be two birds with one stone. So let's take out 30 silver to craft it. Which I do have in here, 30 silver. I smelted this much already. So let's craft the crystal battle axe. Oh, inventory is full. Uh, let's put that over there. Alright, let's craft it. There we go, the crystal battle axe. That looks awesome. Just in the in the tooltip right there. So let's see how it if we can upgrade it maybe. We need some more ancient bark and some more silver, but we can do that. So I'll grab the ancient bark and I'll be right back. I retrieved the rest of my ancient bark. Now let's grab all of the silver. Because I want to upgrade it as much as possible. And let's upgrade it. And we need yet more silver to uh, to do some more. We don't have it yet. Maybe... Oh, maybe we do, actually. 24. Maybe there are six pieces over here. There was four. Uh, five, six. All right. Let's... <laughs> let's move slowly towards the forge. And let's grab the rest of the silver. And let's upgrade it again. So now it will do 102 of slash. There we go. Now I need the forge level 6 to do some more. So that's that's it for now. So let's see how it looks like. After I empty... No, I don't need to. So, oh yeah. That looks cool. That looks so cool. And it's probably even glowing in the dark. Yeah. Let's see what the movesets are. So that's normal attack. And the special attack is a forward poke. Okay. That can be useful for enemies that are out of reach. Yeah, I like it actually. We can block as well, so... What's the block value? It's... Block armor 40 and block force 80. That's like way better than my current shield. I don't need my shield no more. At least for now. So that's really, really cool. I'll keep the iron mace on me because there's always some golems that are annoying. So I'll wait for the rest of the silver to smelt and the onions to be ready and I'll be right back. So I'm currently in the black forest and my goal is to find a gray dwarf spawner to be able to level up my battle axe skill so I can do more damage. The secondary attack is pretty fast. So it's really worth it. 
And this game awards XP points based on how many hits you do and not how hard you hit. So the best would be to take a lower tier battle axe. But I want to get used to this one because it just looks awesome. So there is a spawner right over there. So I'm just going to camp near it and I'm going to kill everything that comes out of it. And I'm going to level up my battle axe skill. So I've raised my battle axe skill. It is now 28. It is pretty close to the clubs that I was using, the mace. So I'm happy with that. Also, while waiting, my onions were ready. So I've, I've collected some and I replanted some. Now there's some that are planted for the seeds. So we can make now onion soup, which gives 60 stamina. So that's pretty good. So when we run out of ice cream, we can just make onion stew easily. And it gives a good amount of stamina. Now, I also want to make wolf skewer. Because that gives a lot of health. So let's grab all that stuff. Which is wolf meat and some mushrooms. As well as the onions. So let's craft a few. So I crafted 22, which is all I could do with the amount of mushrooms that I had. So this way I know that I have a, a good amount for a good amount of time. And so the silver is all smelted. So I have three stacks and a half. So what I'll do with that is I'll first craft the Drake helmet. And then I'm going to upgrade my, uh, my chest and my pants and everything. So this one doesn't give an armor reduction, a uh, movement speed reduction, so I'll upgrade it. I'll upgrade it one more time. And another time. Awesome. Now I'll upgrade the, the top. I'll upgrade the bottom. I'm gonna grade, upgrade the top again. The bottom again. And I think I won't have enough silver for more. I need wolf belt actually. So I would have to uh, run more in the mountain. So I currently have, if I equip everything, 75 armor. So that's awesome. And look at that hat. Now isn't that viking with the horns and the battle axe. It looks awesome. So we're gonna end this episode over here. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks everyone for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome.